Right, in this video, Paul Mondeo Mark III, 2003 TGCI, 2 litre Dura Torque engine. Getting that, still getting that smoky, smokiness from the back, low fuel uh, saving or high fuel consumption. So let's uh, take off the EGR, take off the front intake, all quite easily accessible. The EGR pipe's a bit of a difficult one not too bad tool as long as you've got some tools have yourself a magnetic tool a grasping tool and you should be fine so battery let's get disconnect the battery and i'll put the lid back on so there's no way you can reconnect and funny enough i had this disconnected i was driving around and it, and it was running it didn't even come up with an strange enough so air box obviously this lid uh so let's do that I've got the mention and purpose what I'm trying to do. I can't remember, but I don't think there's what you call a PBC valve in there. I'm thinking perhaps this valve is clogged up in some cars, definitely petrol cars, special version of this. You'll suck up oil into the uh, air intake. Um, now, one of the things, take, these, take this packet off and uh, unplug this camshaft sensor. Played it recently enough times. Uh, one of the things I did do, I looked at an old video, and I, I can't remember whether or not maybe I'll plug these in the wrong way around. The red cable, the one with the reddish part, is on the right hand side. Right, so that's that, I'd like that. And I looked at one of my old videos just to remind me. So, next thing, there's an 8mm nut down there, an 8mm nut down there. There's a, I think it's a, Eight mil nuts down here, and then on the other end of the EGI pipe, two two eight mil nuts. You'll be able to see it. If you look this way, you'll be able to see it. Uh, a bit tricky, but not too difficult. So this has been removed. Uh, Wait, well, by the way, this vacuum hose links to the top cable. So it links here, links, 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 and it links to this one and it links to uh, these two cut these two rubber hoses this fits onto like the the little vacuum box on the bottom of the air filter this one fits onto the top of the air filter so yeah, this one the one that fits into the top of the air filter the bigger diamond hose the bigger hole it goes into this this area here so I guess the yeah, vacuum is created inside yeah, it's created inside the top of the which is a bit bizarre really, need to operate the EGR I'm not exactly how sure but that's the facts of it anyway the bottom hose here so the top hose is connected to either one of these sensors and the bottom hose is connected to either one of these sensors as well and the bottom hose connects to the pure vacuum one of these is going to be pure vacuum one of them is like going oh, oh, oh you know in between a vacuum and not a vacuum kind of thing, yeah? Alright, so let's um let's come on. I'm just going along looking for areas that may have occurred. This thing is actually fouled up, causing all this smoke. Looking down there the oil return pipe on the turbine. The tur Compressor, and that's the compressor, that's the two. The compressor that we use kind of really dirty. Can't really tell, but it would be a hard job to get to look at the old feeder pipe. It's sort of hidden away. Oh, I can't remember. Uh, two 8mm nuts to hold this in and the bottom pipe. So I'm going to my bendy tool. These ones are usually 7mm. No, I'm going to have to use a 7mm ratchet to ratchet that bottom pipe in. Sometimes if there's a leak or something in these pipes that will cause it, so then it won't tighten up or something. So. Oh, by the way, um, I just undid that one. Notice I can't get to the next one unless I go to the top, maybe. So, I've got one in there. Yeah, I could do it, actually. I could do. Could do, or I could just take the whole oh, I'm gonna take this off anyway just so let's, let's try and take this off set alright so there's the EGR not as bad as it was before 
but there is a test. Well, when I clean it all and put it back together, there's a test I can do on this uh, EGR valve. I'll show you later on. I'm, I'm only running a cord to according to the Haynes manual. It's quite thick, quite a lot of it. Any stuff strong enough to clean the carburetor looking thing. The EGR is the carburetor cleaner. Sticky grease. Some power grease, some sticky mechanism in there. Uh, always took it out of the camera shot. Let's get the camera. See that? Getting in there the mechanism for quite square of this carburetor cleaner. I didn't even know there's a mech yeah you couldn't even well I did but you you can even tell there's a mechanism there. Vacuum pulled. I was tempted to dunk this in some sort of fluid, but you don't want any fluid getting in this part in there. If you dunk it, I mean, it's all right if you dunk it in there, don't you? Dunk it in like, like so, then leave the top bit out. The vacuum pipe goes. Black enough anyway. 